Miller, we do have a warrant on him, theft of electrical current and malicious entry to property. The next software that I'm going to go ahead and uh, install on the computer is this Unitrunker. So I'm going to go ahead and double click. And I want to run it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and accept, install, go ahead and let this happen. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. First time installation. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do much with Unitrunker without our decoder, which is SDS Plus. So let's move on to that next. And here is our SDS. So this is a, a folder that can be extracted. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to do extract all and it will put it in a folder for me. So extract. And there's all the stuff. Now the other thing I want to do is uh, this, the uh, DLLs. I want to right click, extract all, and I'm going to let that uh, choose the folder that it puts it in. And there they are. So there's probably a pretty good chance that these DLLs need to be in the same folder as my files. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a control A to control, uh, select them all and move them over into that folder right there and get that out of there. So now let's see what happens when I click on DSD plus and run and there it is. All right so DSD plus is working. Check it out. Hey look my voice Pretty cool, huh? All right, it's not really what we're after. So now let's get our cable ready. So kill this. See how easy this stuff is to uh, install? It's no big deal. Shouldn't be scared. On, oh, and remember, I always put these used zipped guys that I've used, and I always put them back in my zipped thing so I don't get confused, because I get confused easy, easily. All right, so now it's time to grab the I'm going to right click and I'm going to say extract all and it's putting it in its own folder and I say extract and there's all the extract stuff. Take the zip file, put it in the zip folder for later and what we're going to do with this guy, I have a 64 bit so I'm going to go to, uh, to the setup, double click it, run it. Alrighty, got denied, 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 which is okay. I don't care. I'm not. I'm, my feelings aren't hurt. I'm gonna right click, run as administrator, and install the driver. All right, complete and successful. I might reboot. You might. It says you might reboot your system to finalize installation. You might generally means. You should. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and um, I'll see you back on the flip side. So if you want to make sure that the VB cable installed correctly, just double click on the icon, and you should get this. And if you do get this, then you're fine. We still have to configure it, but we don't configure it here. We're going to configure it by going down to the bottom right-hand side of your screen where you've got a little um, speaker thing, a little speaker icon. And if you don't see the speaker icon, hit this little up arrow. might be in there somewhere. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and mouse over this speaker, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to playback devices. Now your playback devices, your speakers, should be your default. Okay, So there's probably a 99 out of 100 chance that your speakers are your default. If you wear headphones a lot, it might be your headphones. But what we want to do is we want to go to recording. And you can ignore this right here. This is just because I'm creating a video for you right now. But we're going to go down to this cable outlet. And I'm going to right click on, I'm going to left click on it to highlight, highlight it. I'm going to left click on it to highlight it. And I'm going to right click on it to set it as the default. So now you can see that the cable output is set the default. I'm glad my microphone's still working so that I can continue making this video for you. But then we're set for the setting. Cable output for your um, recording and then select OK. 
Now we can start configuring Unitrunker. So let's go ahead and double click on Unitrunker and open it up. We get a blank screen. How boring, right? But we're going to make it not so boring. Okay, so at this point you want to make sure that your RTL SDR dongles are plugged in and, uh, and hooked up to your antennas. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add. And what we want to do is we want to add an RTL 2832. And here we go. First thing we want to do is we're going to name it. And I'm going to name mine Fixed. That's how I know which one it is. Okay. You also want to make sure that you select. Uh, if yours doesn't have the correct type, you want to make sure that it's the RTL 2832U model. We're going to call this one fixed. We're not going to start it yet. So now for the RTL device, you're going to want to click on this and you should have two options. And I do. Uh, I've got that one and that one because I've got two RTL dongles hooked in. Now for my fixed, I'm going to use it doesn't matter which one you use, but for me, using 0001 as my fixed, just it'll help me remember which one's which. So I'm going to select that one. This correction we're going to get into a little bit later. If uh, uh, We're going to do that while troubleshooting. You're going to want to select your drift correct. You're going to want to make sure that baseline AGC is selected. Now gain isn't really important if you select auto gain, which is what I'm going to select here for now. And for your sample rate, my default was uh, 0.96, but you can go a little bit higher than this. You can go as high as I think 2048, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go with this one right here. And VCOs, let's just keep this simple for now and just go with one VCO. Now, you can see that there's another tab down here called VCO. This is where we're going to make some more specific uh, decisions. So click the VCO and we'll go like this to give you more room to look at stuff. All right, so now this, remember we earlier I told you about, uh, we're going to use this as our fixed station. So our, our status, or excuse me, our role is going to be signal because that is going to be monitoring for that loud sound that's going to be continuous and because it's going to be continuous we're going to want to mute this one de-emphasizing unselect that that will i think help find our p25 i'm not exactly sure what that does all right so here's the important part for our audio output we're going to want to send our audio output to our speakers okay and for our digital output that we're going to look for our VB audio. Okay. So this field right here is basically where we're telling uh, our computer to send the out the digital output to the VB audio. Leave calls uh, at group and unit calls. Now the squelch we're going to set. I have found setting it to 50 is a good starting point. Park is the uh, frequency that we're going to get on. We'll get to back to that in a second. And let's see what we want to see. We want to do P25. We want to do Pro Voice. And then all of this stuff we can pretty much leave alone and keep the defaults. So now this guy, this fixed guy, is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play or start. And as you can see, the fixed is running. Now I didn't check, I didn't select a station yet. We'll get back to that. So let's come back over here and get rid of this. So we've got him. He's in there. Good. Now let's add another one and we're going to add another RTL 2832. But this model, we're going to call him the scanner because he's the one that's going to be hopping from station to station. Now for your scanner, you're going to want to pick the other RTL device. Earlier, I picked 01 for the fix, so this one I'm going to pick for, this is the variable, if you will, the one that's going to scan. Okay, so I picked that one. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, select Drift Connect. Broadband is good. I can bring this up a bit. One VCO. So the difference between this one and the other one, remember, 
is this one's going to be called the scanner, the other one was called fixed, and this one we're going to use the other RTL device. The rest of this stuff is pretty much the same. But let's also make some more changes on the VCO tab. This guy is going to be the one that's going to be jumping around. So instead of signal, we're actually going to be looking for voice. Can unselect that. Now, of course, remember on the other one, the other one was going to be loud and squelchy, so we wanted to mute it. This one we're going to want to listen to. Okay, so we're going to not select mute. Now, once again, for the audio output, we want to hear the audio output through our speakers. And we want our digital output to go through our VB audio. Rank 50, group and call, squelch. Um, this one. I'm going to make this one a little higher than the other one, make this one 60, because remember, this is the one that's not going to be muted. All right, we're going to want to pick up P25s, we're going to want to pick up Pro Voice, and the rest of those we're going to leave just the way they are, and we're good, and we're going to go ahead and hit play. So now you see that one's running. So we can either leave this up in the corner here, now what we want to do is remember all that stuff that we did with SDR Sharp where we were trying to find stations uh, that had waterfalls that looked like P25 signals or we went to uh, radioreference.com. Now as it says right here 853.775 is the primary. Okay, It says red are the primary control channels. So we're going to go to the very first one and, and, and in this one unlike the Charlotte one that I showed you earlier this one is actually correct, 853.775. So I can either cut and paste that. Now remember, that's the fixed. So I want to go to my fixed, which is here, and I want to go to the VCO. And I want to go to where it says park, because that is where I put my frequency. Don't confuse that with frequency. You can't enter, you can't enter th anything into this field. You go to park, and that's where you type in your frequency. And watch what happens. I get a pop-up here, APCO P25, and I get health. And the health is very high, 98 to 100. And now you can start to see some action over here. Beard, uh, slim with dark tennis shoes, begging for money. First degree murder.